Hello everyone. Hello, yeah, this is better. Hello everyone. Um, I will do a presentation about troubleshooting in Joomla. I'm Peter Martin, I'm from the Netherlands. Um, I live here in Nijmegen. It's about seven hours by bike from uh, Cologne. In my presentation, I will tell something about uh, the troubleshooting process. I will tell something about extensions in general. And then the 10 most common questions and errors I see at Joomla forum. Uh, finally, I will give some uh, useful tools to uh, solve errors with Joomla. First of all, uh, we live in an age of electronics. Um, if you have a problem with the television, you can smash it to get a stable response, or you just, not too hard of course, or you just switch it off and on again. Um, I know it's not really, uh, I should not really do this, but anyway, um, this company is really terrific, really, really terrific. I'm not sure what they do, actually, but they have a couple of people working here, and I use those. I call them, and they can help me with answers, because I have to admit, I don't know a lot about Joomla. I help at the forum, but when I run into problems, I just call these guys. This is Jen, their boss. This is uh, Roy, he's an IT. And he is, uh, this is Moss. His real name is Maurice, but uh, we always call him Moss. So I phoned them and they helped me out with problems. First of all, uh, the troubleshooting process. If there is an error, uh, it can be in all kinds of different places. These are the most common errors in Joomla or in web servers, web applications in general. You can have errors on the web server. You can ha have errors with your ISP, Internet Service Provider, like uh, maybe your, hosting, uh, your internet provider is uh, pointing to the wrong IP address. Or maybe something at your own computer, like a firewall or a router. Or this also happens between user and uh, chair problems. I will get back to that later. So, if you have a problem, you should have made a backup before you had a problem. But, if you didn't have any, just create a backup of the current situation. So, if you are uh, investigating it, you can get back to it, to, the, to this current situation. You have to know the difference between the different extensions, like what's a component, what's a module, or uh, templates. And to find the cause of an error, you have to be logical. You have to try to reproduce it at another website, uh, or reproduce it with different parameters. And also, don't change a lot of parameters and check, because if the problem is solved, you don't know which of the parameters did it. So just change one thing at a time and check every time. Um, also, uh, Check all different change, so everything you have to, to check, and vary things extremely. So, for instance, if you do something with, uh, you don't see a table, uh, uh, the border of a table or something, don't change it to from zero to one, change it from zero to 10 or something. Just, so make it extreme, so you will see it. I often use uh, uh, red colors in templates to, to see stuff. So I, I create a border, in, and I'll see it, then can I see if I'm doing the right thing? Ask for help is also very important. If you ask for help, ask for help in the right form and uh, use the right subject. So not, please help me. It happens a lot. And give sufficient information. Don't give this kind of information. Just give a couple of bullet points with uh, I have PHP 5 point something, Joomla 3.3.3, and I run into this error. Um, and be open source and report back. So if people help you, please uh, 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 do a follow-up post and say thank you, and this solved my problem, or maybe uh, this didn't solve my problem, but now I found out that it was ca uh, caused by something else. So people who use the form search can really be helped by your answer. So in, in short, extensions. 
You have components, modules, plugins, templates, and language files. These are the components in Joomla. And if you look at, uh, uh, this is uh, from the wiki website. This is, um, this is uh, caused by the template. This middle part is the component. The plugin uh, creates the read more buttons. And the modules are on the side and here also. And of course, the part which says read more is in the language files. Components have a lot of functionality inside. They call it CRUD. Most of the components have a create, a read, an update, and a delete function in it. You can activate the component by uh, using the URL and add option is com and underscore com component, or I mean com content or, so, or something. Sometimes when I look at the website and I don't know, hey, it looks like Joomla, but I'm not sure. Of course, I can look at the high HTML uh, source of the website, but sometimes I do uh, index.php, question mark, option is com search. And in most cases, the search component of Joomla is displayed on the screen. Modules are differently. Um, modules are assigned to pages, to menu items. And you can see module positions in your template, but I will get to that later. They have only one view. Um, they display information. They don't process any information. You can have multiple modules on a page. And uh, yeah, that's it. Plugins are supportive as well. You can have a lot of plugins, and they run in the background. In the, in the background, they are sort of uh, robots that are looking at uh, events that happen in, uh, in Joomla, and then sometimes they say, "Yeah, I can do that." For instance, you have the email cloaking component. Uh, it's a content plugin, and if you display content on the web page on the front end, this plugin is triggered if it's published. It will look in the article to uh, if it sees any email address, and if it sees an email address, it replaces it with some code so uh, spammers can't uh, find it in the source coder your your uh, email address. Uh, templates, of course, uh, form the the HTML. And uh, what can I say about that? You can only have one template on a page, but you can have multiple templates running on the site, but I would not recommend that. Language files, um, a really powerful option, I think it's since Joomla 1.6, is template, um, sorry, language overrides. In the past, if you had um, uh, a translation for read more, which would say something like uh, lies more, lies meer, then you could change it to uh, lies meer bitter uh, in the language file, but it would be a core override. So if you would update Joomla, it might be overwritten. In the current Joomla 3.3 and 2.5, you have language overrides, which means you can just find a language tag and put your own information in it. This is how extensions work together. This is the search functionality of Joomla. There is a module called search, mod underscore search. It does nothing. It only displays an input field. But if you put something in the input field and you press search, it will give the information to the component and the component will process it. It's the same with the component search. If you go to the search component, you get a field, you can put information in it and it will search it will put the information to, the, to, the, to, to itself to process it. However, it doesn't know anything about where to search and how to search. You have to use plugins, the search plugins. The order is important, and if you use a Joomla website and you don't use the web links, go to the plugins and unpublish the web link search because it, you don't need it. And uh, it will give back some results. So now I come uh, at the next part about the common problems in Joomla forum. There are mainly 10 really, really, really errors I see a lot. The blank page. 
who has ever had a blank page? Okay, how did you solve it? Um, I solved it by phoning. Oh no, first of all, the questions in the forum. Blank page after admin login, or my, search, my site is blank after moving to another server. These kinds of questions I see at the forum. So I call my friends at, uh, at the IT office, and uh, I had Roy on the phone, and I said, yeah, blank page, what should I do? And his answer, have you tried doing it off and on again? Hmm. What does he mean? Oh, wait a minute, he meant error reporting. Because blank page means there is an error on the page, which is not displayed, hence you don't see anything. So you have to enable it. Um, so you go into the backend and you go to uh, global configuration, server, and then you say the error reporting, which set the default to maximum or something. And then you will see all the errors. However, the person who said, if I log into the admin, I get a blank field, a blank page. Yeah, you can't help him with this. If it's uh, an, H an Apache website, you could put an HD access file in the root of the website and just put these two uh, lines of code in it. With these two lines of code, you will switch on all the errors. Deprecated. Looks th does this look familiar to you? Deprecated errors. Um, yeah, this happens a lot. So again, I phoned I my friends, and uh, Roy answered again. Are you from the past? Hmm. Are you from the past? Yeah, he is right again, because deprecated means something what was used in the past can be used in the future. And it's especially with all the Joomla versions. All the Joomla versions like 1.5 was, was using 1.5. No one dares to tell they're using 1.5 anymore. Well, I have maybe one or two websites. If the PHP version on the website is upgraded by a hosting provider from maybe 5.2 to 5.4 or something, you will get into a lot of those errors. It means next PHP version we don't have it anymore, so then you have an error. And now it's still working, but yeah, you have to be careful. Uh, you better get it fixed. Otherwise, with the next PHP version, well, you will run into trouble. If it's a human problem, report. If it's a third party extension that triggers this uh, message, contact the developer and uh, give information about your PHP version and the problem. And meanwhile, you don't want to have your uh, visitors uh, uh, seeing the deprecated errors. Uh, so you can hide those. If you have access to php.ini, uh, you should uh, add this line, error reporting, all and de deprecated. Or in the HD access you say, php flag display errors off. And then you don't see any warnings again. But if you run into a blank page, yeah, you have to go back to my previous fleet, uh, sheet. Missing class, does it look familiar? The errors I see in the form are these. People can't find classes. So I called again, uh, Roy wasn't there. I think he was in a pub or something. And the boss uh, answered the phone. This is what she told me. I'm the head of IT, and if I have it on good authority that if you type Google into Google, you can break the internet. Uh, actually, that's not true. But what is true, you can Google the errors you see. But if you see the error, like a fatal error class, jconfig not found in far ww, etc., most of the time there is something uh, in front of it because. Every uh, uh, server is different, so you will you have your username or something there. And you should not be that specific, so only copy maybe the uh, fatal error class, uh, framework.php, line six, uh, 56. Um, I start with, of course, with the backup, and after the backup, I try to re-upload the files that are missing. And when it doesn't work, I just get uh, the full Joomla version, 
I unzip it, I upload everything except for the installation folder. If you do it like that, sometimes it, uh, it helps. Chase did not work. People try stuff and it doesn't work out. And they asked, why doesn't it work? And I was telling you about the, the chair and a keyboard uh, error. I have this as well. One time I was uh, making changes and I was looking at the website and I didn't see any changes. Refresh, refresh, hmm. Clearing with cache, hmm. Refresh, it, doesn't, it didn't work, work. So I uh, took the bad solution. I just went away for uh, maybe five minutes to get some tea. And when I got back, um, I looked again and I discovered, oh no, I'm uh, local, working locally, making the changes locally, and I'm checking them on the server, and I haven't uploaded those yet. These kinds of things are uh, between error, I mean between keyboard and chair. So I called uh, my friends at the IT department again, and uh, I got Moss. And he, he told me memory is RAM. And I, of, of course, I already told you I, I cleared the cache. It's what you always have to do. If you run into problems, uh, try it with another browser. Refresh your ca cache. And if you have Windows, use Control and F5, because it uh, hard refreshes your cache. But also use uh, empty Joomla's cache. Empty your browser cache. Disable the hosting. Um, Server cache, because some hosting providers, I think that uh, SiteGround is one of those providers, they have a sort of caching on the hosting as well. And other companies do the same. It, it's good for your website, but if you run into problems, you should disable it using HD access. Just disable it, fix the problem, and then enable it again. Also, switch off safe engine friendly URLs, search engine friendly URLs, because it gives you more information about or what view, or what page, what components you are looking. Uh, change par parameters with extreme numbers. Oh yes, check your template overrides. Uh, sometimes you, you try uh, uh, settings in uh, the par parameters of a component, or maybe a module, and it doesn't work. And it happened to me a couple of times, and then I discovered that the template that my customer had, had template overrides, and the template overrides didn't have the parameters. So you could change anything, but it didn't work out. Just rename uh, in your, the template you use, the HTML folder to HTML2 or something. Check it again, and if it works, it's something with the template overrides. Okay. Uh, this error. These are the problems you see, especially the last two ones. Urgent help, urgent help, error 404. If people say it's urgent, I don't respond. I don't, I don't, I look at other people's problems. Because if people think their problem is more urgent than the other people's problems, then yeah, maybe they sh should ask someone for commercial uh, help. I prefer to, to use the normal ones. Uh, these problems are mostly, oh yeah, uh, I call them again. And this is Jen again. And okay, what does this stand for? Uh, we have to do something with S SEF. SEF stands for a Search Engine Friendly. By the way, my sheets will be available uh, at the end of the session. Um, if you have Apache, rename the htaccess.txt to .htaccess. Uh, markers of EES7, you can have uh, the web config, rename it to web config. And Nginx is also a, a, a really great uh, web server. You have to do some stuff, but this is technical. It's not. Most people don't use that. Can't log in. Who has had this problem? They lost the password, yes. Other stuff, yes. OK. I had it also as well when I upgraded uh, websites. For some reason, I couldn't update anymore. I couldn't log in anymore. Uh, these are the kinds of problems I see. And also some people say, yeah, um, I have a problem with uh, my, uh, my developer uh, and uh, they shot me out of the website and uh, please, how can I restore it? Yeah, we can't. <laughs> you have to do it yourself. Uh, 
So I, I called uh, the IT department again. And this is, uh, oh, this is the boss of them. This is the, the CEO. And they installed uh, um, uh, speech recognition on his computer. He thought, this is to log in, uh, how to log in. You can try reset password. Um, in the, uh, the latest version of Joomla, the password has been changed, uh, the password scheme. In the past, uh, they used a scheme like MD5. MD5 is an app and one-way encryption technique. And when you look at it, it's, it's, a, short, uh, it's a short string with uh, uh, two dots and then some other string which is the salt. And the new password is, I think, SH5. A5, it's really long. It doesn't matter if you go to PHP by admin and you just say, um, this is my new password in the password field and you say, the type of this field should be MD5, your password will be encrypted as MD5. When you log in into the Joomla website, it will be changed automatically to the new password scheme. Something else, uh, you can add a new super user uh, here's the documentation to find it, to, to, to do it. And some people, uh, uh, they are really exper experimental. And I like people who, who try a lot of stuff because they are curious how things work and they will find out a lot of things. They will also find out how to shut yourself out of the website. Because if you are looking at the plugin manager and you look at the authentication plugins and you disable those, you unpublish those, you will shut yourself out. But not immediately. You shut yourself out next time you try to log in. So the problem is not clear all the time. So if you can't log in, you tried stuff like resetting your password, it doesn't work. Use PHP My Admin, uh, go to your extensions uh, table and find these plugins, the user Joomla and the authentication Joomla. They have a, a field called enabled and it should be one. If it's zero, you should uh, switch to one again so it works again. Um, something else. Some people install security extensions that if you go to the admin folder, you have to uh, add a token like uh, a question mark, this is my secret key. If you forgot, forget this is my secret key, the website will refresh and we will just go to the front end of the website. It's an extra secur security measure. Uh, you can disable it if you installed it. It's most of the time it's a plugin. You can disable uh, using uh, the extensions. Okay. Um, does, this, does this look familiar? I hope not because it's a mess. And these are the errors. People can't install, install stuff. Like things fail to copy, fail to install. So again, uh, I called uh, IT department and, oh, I called the IT department. Uh, I didn't get any response, I don't know why. So I had to find it myself. And I had a lot of questions about it. If people can't install stuff, the questions I have are, is it just one specific extension or all extensions? Is it just one module or all modules? Uh, are you using the, 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 the right Joomla version? So if you are using Joomla 3.3, don't try to install 2.5 modules. And something else, uh, check the permissions on your server. Files should be 644 folders 755. And you can find that also under system, system information, directory permissions, and everything should be writable. You can also use FTP to go to your website um, and look at the folders, uh, what the, the file and folder permissions are. Something else, um, templates are getting more advanced, more graphics, and bigger and bigger and bigger. Sometimes you, uh, you reach the limit on your server. Some servers have an uh, uh, upload size limit or of maybe one or two megabyte. And you can uh, change it in, in php.ini. And I think in Joomla is, there's also an, uh, an option to increase it in the template options. This is also really 
uh, notorious. Uh, people can't install stuff because they don't run out. They run out of disk space on the hosting. Um, what you also can try, you can try to unzip something, an extension in a TMP folder. Look in the folder if there is an XML file inside, an installation file, because some extensions have other uh, zip files in it, and you have to just uh, uh, extract it first. You can also try uh, install from directory. So another question I see a lot is how can I remove this or how can I remove that? For instance, powered by. Uh, yeah, of course you don't want to show powered by Peter uh, if 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 I made an extension and you used it on your website or you use a template uh, powered by this template club, you don't want it on your website. But first of all, maybe you should just buy it, buy the extension, and then you can you you can remove it. Um, a lot of other questions: How can you change it? I asked again at IT Crowd. Yeah, they were not really really helpful. So. Um, I had to do it myself again. And the first thing I have to do, what, what kind of browser do you use? What browsers do you use? Do, wh who does uh, use uh, Chrome? OK, Firefox. And the Firefox people do use the Firebug extension. OK, uh, Microsoft, Internet Explorer. They also have sort of option of debugging, I know. <laughs> what you have to do is, debug your template, or debug the page. So with uh, the Google Chrome, you can right click on an element and look at uh, what you see. And you can find the, uh, the tags around it and just search for the tags. If it's uh, something to do with a module, uh, you should go to your extension template manager and set preview module position to enabled. So you can add question mark tp is equals one in the URL, and you see all the module positions. And then you have more information about where to find stuff. Sorry? Uh, no, you have to go to extension, template manager, preview module positions, and enable it. If it's disabled by default, so it doesn't work by default. Uh, a good question, because something else. If you already have a question mark, in the URL, you should not say a question mark is uh, tp is equals one, but ampersand the 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 end sign. Um, oh yeah, template. You also could change the template uh, if it solves your question. Then it's template related. Um, uh, disable some plugins, but don't disable the authorization plugins, uh, and test again. If it's the component or module, maybe this module override or a template override in the, for this module. I like uh, using IDE. I have my uh, websites also local, so I can just search in the whole IDE on certain keywords. Uh, today, our, uh, people also uh, uh, were talking about PHP Storm, so uh, I should add it as well. Firestorm, maybe. <laughs> okay. Another thing I see a lot at uh, Joomla Forum is speed issues, performance issues. And these are the kinds of questions. It is too slow. My website is loading too slow. And, okay, I called the IT department again. Nah, this is not e what I expected. This is not what you should do. What you should do, you should analyze database queries. If a website is slow, first of all, you should use, use Joomla's debug mode and check the queries it makes. A default website of Joomla without any extensions, maybe, maybe 60 or 80 different uh, queries. If you have 200 queries, there's something wrong with your website, I think. Uh, you should analyze your loading time. There is a really nice browser plugin called YSlow. It's made by Yahoo. Hence the name why slow and also why your website is slow. You can have it for you can install it for Firefox and Chrome, and you it analyzes the, the loading time of a web page. 
and it also gives you advice like maybe you should combine uh, uh, the 20 different JavaScript files into one or something like that. Something else, you should compare your website with other hosting. Maybe it's hosting related, maybe you have just have a, a, a hosting company that is not really uh, good. I use Akiba Backup, I create a backup of, of, of my website and I install this website locally. Uh, you can, do, you can install a, a, a local web server and install it over there. If the speed is soft, you know it has to do something with the hosting. If the speed is also slow over there, you know it's site related or maybe extension related. Yeah, oops. Anyone? Yeah, me too, by the way. All my customers. Uh, these kinds of things you uh, see on the internet about my site got hacked. And also, I just got hacked by, it doesn't matter, the name, don't mention the names if you got hacked, because uh, at Joomla Forum those get removed, otherwise the hackers will have credits, and it's bad already that you ha are, are, have been hacked. So, uh, yeah, of course my friends at the IT department. And what should you do? Did you make a backup? Okay. If you have, you can just refer to backup, but you have to um, um, analyze the backup as, as well, because maybe the hack has been before. It's maybe, it maybe might be an old hack. You have to find the cause. So what you have to do is, um, is your Joomla version up to date? Are your extensions up to date? Uh, do, you have any, uh, do you have the log files of the server? Because the log files might uh, give you more information about how your website got hacked. And what you also can do is you know the IP address of your web server. You could, could Google, Google for this address because maybe you are on shared hosting. I had it once and I looked for the IP address and then I noticed that two other people were complaining about that their website got hacked exactly at the same time as mine. I contacted the hosting company and I told them, yeah, my website got hacked and I noticed that a couple of websites on the same server got hacked as well. So I think it's, they hacked one account and hacked everything from, uh, from out that account. Yeah, that's right, but yeah, you can just, uh, uh, you have to uh, uh, re-upload your index.php and then everything is, is all right. Yeah, I know. I didn't have a backup of my index from the template I had. So, so I also, something else, if hackers try to upload stuff, they mostly attack the image directory because a lot of extensions work with the image directory. So a lot of extensions have access to the image directory and if they are not protected, maybe one of those was able to upload a GIF to the image directory. And maybe the GIF is not a GIF file, but the PHP file renamed as GIF. And sometimes it gives problems. Do you have SSH access to the who, who has SSH access to the server? You have good hosting. Um, if you have SSH access and there are any problems, you can use statements, commands, to analyze the latest files. Or maybe you can search for evil base64 decode. A lot of hackers use this to um, to hide their scripts because they, they upload scripts and the scripts are sort of maintenance scripts so they can do everything on your server and they hide it with this. Also, uh, check the security list and then uh, the part about you have been hacked or defaced. Um, there are some tools you can use. I already uh, uh, told you about a couple of those. Of course, Joomla itself, especially another Joomla website. If you run into problem with one Joomla website, just install a, a Joomla website with example content and look at that website, how it's working over there. Joomla's debug mode, very interesting. Uh, search engine friendly off. And of course, the system information uh, you can find in Joomla might give you information. Uh, you can use admin tools. It's uh, from the um, developer of Akiba Backup. It's a free extension that you can use to analyze and fix permissions on your website. 
You can also repair and optimize database tables, but you can also use phpMyAdmin for that. Um, on the web server, uh, you might have access to the server log files. There's only one problem. Most hosting companies only keep them for a week, and then they rotate, and you, you have uh, the, oldest version, the oldest files uh, will be thrown away. And you might find the hack at day eight, so you can't find anything about it. Um, there is also a PA, PHP error log file that you can look at. Uh, HD access, you should also always look at HD access. Um, you should use HD access to, uh, um, uh, to add maybe the error reporting, but you can also look at HD access if you got hacked. Some hackers use HD access to redirect people to other websites. PHP my admin is a really useful tool. And of course, uh, is Firestorm is, isn't existing? I think I messed up with PHP Storm. <laughs> okay, good to know. Uh, the HTML output will also give you a lot of information. Uh, I use Google Chrome with the inspector and sometimes I use um, uh, the web developer add-on because you can also have a lot of information of it. And of course, why slow? Uh, regarding the database, uh, Akiba backup. Oh, this is not good. Uh, I use Akiba backup, Scamp and Diff. And again, Diff is really, really, really useful. I didn't tell you about it, but sometimes I get uh, customers that have old websites and they want just to get rid of the hacks. When I uh, can't use SSH, sometimes I just download the whole website to my local uh, server. I install, I, I create two copies of this, uh, the hacked version and the hacked version, just two copies on the same server. And one of the hacked versions, I just reinstall Joomla over it. I just copy Joomla files over the hacked version. And then I use Melt, but you can also use WinMerge if you are in Windows, and you just compare those two websites. And all the files are compared line by line. And all the changes uh, are visible in a, in a GUI. And so you can easily see what has been changed in the Joomla core. And you can do the same for the extensions. So uh, I hope that you can use these tools to uh, solve problems if you have any. This is it. If you have any questions, are there any questions? Yes? Okay, the question is, uh, where, uh, the sessions table, uh, what's, uh, what do you use it for? Sessions, it is, yes. Uh, the sessions table is uh, uh, for if people log into your website or if they just visit your website, um, they are a user and they have a session with your website. And if they go from one page to the other, um, you have to keep the information about those persons. If you have a sessions table that is really huge, you can just empty it. All the people who are logged in will be logged out. That's the only thing that happens. But I think you should go to uh, uh, the global configuration and then look at uh, how long your session is. Maybe you have uh, a day or something, a session. Uh, you don't have to answer it now. Just uh, when you're home, look at it. And I would recommend using 60 minutes, not longer. So uh, yeah, the session is just to, to keep people logged in. Or if visitors come to your website, just know who they are on every page. Other questions? Yes, go ahead. Um, yes, um, uh, the command is was um, I heard something about uh, putting an HD access file in the administrator folder to protect the administrator folder. 
uh, yeah, uh, um, to, to password protect the HD, uh, the, um, the administrator folder. Yes, it's possible. It's uh, it's a good, I think it's a good solution to uh, make it more difficult to hack your website. Um, you uh, can do it, but you have people who want to look in an administrator have to use two passwords. First, to get to be able to browse this folder, and then uh, their normal password. Uh, that's one solution. Another solution is to use uh, something called JSecure, or maybe um, the admin tools of Akiba, but then uh, the, the paid version, the pro version. Uh, they have an option that you could create a token. So you have to uh, say something like uh, uh, my website slash administrator, question mark, my secret code. And then if you have the my secret code correct, you can log in. There's also a third option. It's in the Joomla core. And it's called the two-factor authentication. Uh, sorry, two-factor authentication. Uh, there are, I think, two different types for Joomla at the moment. Uh, first one is the Google one. Uh, you have to install uh, an application on your mobile phone, which will generate keys that you have to enter into uh, the, an extra field. So instead of the login field with the user and the password, you also get a, a secret token. And the secret token is generated by a mobile phone and you have to fill out all those three. Uh, this is one of the uh, two-factor authentications. The other one is uh, if you are a visitor here at this conference, you can go to um, uh, the YubiKey stand and they will put a stamp on your uh, Nay, on your tag, but you will get this key. Uh, this UB key is a sort of keyboard key. If you put it in, into the USB key and you press it, it will generate a number. And this number is uh, filled out in the secret code key. So you can use that as well. So there are yeah, a couple of different things to, uh, to make your website uh, better protected. Uh, any other questions? Maybe you, another one? What is your experience with hackers? And do they detect data as well? Um, they could. But uh, so far, most hacks are just file related. Uh, that's a good question. Oh, sorry, uh, the question was, uh, do hackers also attack databases? Uh, uh, they can. Uh, I haven't seen those. Uh, the, the cases I see are files that are uploaded, files that are changed, uh, these kind of stuff. Uh, one time, I uh, uh, was trying to help a, a new customer. And when I looked at the website, I found out that the website was hacked one and a half year ago. And in the meantime, there were three different hacker teams active on the website. And uh, yeah, they were not really happy with that. <laughs> um, yeah, m mostly is, uh, in most cases, uh, may maybe, maybe you think I have just a normal website. It's just a small website. There's not much on it. Uh, just uh, 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 my cat and my dog. I, uh, I have nothing to sell, so they don't attack me. Some people think that. Uh, you may think that, but it's not true. Every website is interesting for hackers because you, they use your website to do other stuff. Uh, most common, they add uh, scripts on your website so they can send spam to other websites or to, to uh, email addresses. They put scripts on the website so they can attack other websites from your website. They add scripts on your website, so you will have a bank account, uh, a, a bank. Your website looks like a bank. And uh, they send spam, and people come to your website, not to the front door, but just to a folder. And then they see uh, a Deutsche Bank. Bitte geben Sie Ihre Wachtwort in. Ich weiß nicht, was das ist. Yeah, these kinds of stuff. So phishing websites. And uh, yeah, they try everything. Sorry? Yeah, so? 
hackers do all kinds of stuff. Uh, so every, every, you have to be careful with, with, with websites always. Yes? I, 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 sorry, I don't understand the question. Uh, if you develop a component and it's failing, and uh, you want to debug it with an IDE, so you have to set somewhere a breakpoint. What would be a good point to do? Uh, the question is, if you are developing your own extension and you want to test it, if it's vulnerable, vulnerable, uh, where do you have to set breakpoints to find out uh, uh, where f potential vulnerabilities are? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah. In, uh, Yeah, I would start with controllers, and you can see it in the. You have to first uh, switch off S uh, uh, search engine friendly, so we, you get the information of the in the URL like your component. You will see com component, and it says and view is something, that, so you know which view you have to look for, and sometimes it says uh, some some t some action or something, so you know which contr which controller or which function in a controller you have to look for. Um, um, if you have, a, the question is, uh, uh, what if you see a controller not found? Uh, yeah, if you're developing a component and you get a controller not found, then uh, it can't find the controller. You have to look at the page that triggered it. The page that triggered it is probably a form, and the form might have hidden fields at the bottom. The hidden fields, one of the hidden fields might, might say task, and that will trigger uh, the, uh, the, the uh, controller. So you might look for a task and maybe rename one of your controllers or maybe rename the task. I have no idea. I, I, will I have to look at the code. I will just add some uh, print underscore r and then the name of an object to look at uh, what kind of information at a certain point is known by the extension. You have to debug it line by line. But uh, today, uh, Victor Vogel told something about uh, xdebug. Uh, uh, I don't know if you use xdebug. Uh, if you don't, uh, please look into it. Maybe you can use that also. Are there any other questions? No? Okay, thank you for your attention.